This is the Roxette Ultimate 63mm Synthetic Bristle Paintbrush. This will be used for cutting in the corners and edges. This is a pure bristle badger brush. It's approximately 100mm wide. This width will suit our top coat application of wattle brush suede. The area has been prepared for the application of wattle interior design features and effects brush suede. Make the cut in about 75 to 100 millimeters wide in the first application of wattle brush suede, applying an even thickness with each pass. It is a thicker product and will hold any high build you make, accidentally or otherwise. Once you have cut in corners and edges with the paintbrush, follow over it with the Roxet Pro Fabric Mini Roller. This is to give it the same texture as the larger roller when it is used. Roll on the wattle brush suede with the larger roller. Only cover about a square metre at a time when working with this product. Work it in any which way. Roll into the already painted areas to ensure the same texture. Roll off in one direction ensuring an even coverage. Wattle brush suede dries patchy, but that's part of the look. You can apply your second application the moment it is dry. This first coat will look shy of paint when it dries. Do not be concerned, the second coat marries it all together, giving complete coverage. You can apply your second application the moment it is dry. This first coat will look shy of paint when it dries. Do not be concerned, the second coat marries it all together, giving complete coverage. With the Pure Bristle Badger Brush, fill 20% of the brush with paint and at approximately 200 millimeters, apply it from the corner and push it up to the edge, then hook to the left. That's the movement for the edge. As you move into the flat, shorten the hook to a small crossing action, overlapping the cross action all the time. You can see now the first application is getting a good second coverage with the brush. When the final effect is achieved and dry, it has a nice velvet touch to it. Do not go back into any drying area to tat up, as your touch up will stand out. Wait till the paint is fully dry, then you can do the touch up. Check your work as you go before you leave the area you're working in. You can't touch up once the paint is drying in the area. Remember, stroke up and hook to the right this time. This ensures your edges and corners have a smooth look. The wattle suede effect is a bit thicker than ordinary paint. Stand back from your work often so you can have an overall look. Try to keep your cross application a similar size throughout always overlapping. Later, this edge will be covered with a timber dado line. See how the badger brush is held in the palm with all fingers across the ferrule. This gives good support to your brush. The pencil hold is no go. One would probably end up with a blister and there's no support there to the brush. It would twist and turn. Rather than place the brush into the dry area, start from your wet edge and work it into that area. Keep working your wet edges. Don't let them dry out on you. This Badger Pure Bristle brush is made in America and has a 4 inch stamp on the ferrule. 4 inches is just over 100 millimeters. There will be slight texture showing the direction of the cross applications. That's all part of the look. This is the Wattle Brush Suede in another colour. It has been applied with a larger brush in a scallop effect. The scallop effect is still applied with an overlapping technique. 